Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Anna and I'm still quarantined here in the Bahamas. In this video today, I'm going to go through my top products that I love to bring with me when I go traveling and go on a holiday. Before we get going guys, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Let's go. Thanks for joining me guys. So let's get started with the products that I like to bring. This is just to go over the things that I can't really go without when I'm traveling. Obviously it's better to pack lightly, but there's stuff when I travel that I can't do without. By the way guys, this video is mainly for girls. Firstly guys, skincare. For me, I'm not one to wear foundation and stuff, and honestly, I don't know how they survive on Love Island with all that foundation. I, for one, have never really worn foundation in my life, and especially being in hot weather, your body needs to breathe. My face, I want to protect. Sun, obviously, can be so detrimental to your skin. So instead of using foundation as such, I use something a bit lighter. I always use this. This is a gem, gold dust. I actually bought three of these with me to the Bahamas, and um, this is only my second one. It is Tinted Moisturizer by number seven. It's SPF 15, so you know, you're protected from the sun, but it's also tinted. It gives you that tanned look on your face without having to get tanned. It's only fair, so it's not too much. It doesn't make me look orange. It doesn't give like this shiny look. It's quite matte. But if I'm like properly in the sun, I always use 50 for my face, guys, that is water resistant, the strongest you can get against UV protection for your face. For the rest of my body, I use 30. And I usually get the sprays. I know the sprays aren't as good and they don't absorb into your body as much. But honestly, when you're working and you've got to quickly get ready in the morning, the spray is the easiest and it's better than nothing. But then again, if I'm tanning, I use this one is tanning oil and it's amazing it's only spf 4 oh so bad but i use this for my legs it'll make you tan so easily and it's actually kind of like a lot of bronzer in it so it just gives your skin such a nice glow and it smells so good after a day in the sun it is also important after you've had your shower and everything to rehydrate your skin obviously and i swear by this my grandma first introduced this to me when i was 15 and it's the best after sun you can get Again, it's got a little bit of a tanner in, and I use this for my face and my face only, but it, it not only does it smell amazing, it's got like extra vitamins in to just rehydrate your skin, specifically on your face. Then for the rest of my body, I just use general after sun. One of the tourists gave me this. It is literally, guys, it's the best thing ever. It's really thick and it smells like coconut. And it's blue as well. You can see how much I've used it's blue. Whoever gave me this, thank you. Makeup in the day, guys, is really simple. I just make sure I have definitely sun cream on my face and body. Then eyeliner, guys, I don't go anywhere without waterproof eyeliner. And then all you need is a big pair of sunglasses, like this. Nothing else matters when you're wearing these, guys. Don't waste your time on only doing your eyes and everything if you're just gonna go in the pool. I even swim in the sea with these on. Also, recommendation for those that wear glasses, get yourself a pair of prescription sunglasses. Best investment ever. When you're an entertainer, obviously you have to wear makeup for the shows, but other than that, I don't put much makeup on in the evenings. Bit of eyeliner, bit of mascara, because I wanna protect my skin, and yeah. For my hair, guys, I always go natural. Sea and salt water is the best for getting those beach waves. But the one thing I always love to use in my hair is like a cream or milkshake. Sometimes they're called milkshake. Anything that smells like coconut. So obviously a shampoo and condition, but I always have some sort of leave-in treatment. One of the tourists gave me this. It's like a milkshake. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. So you just literally spray this in your hair and leave it in just always run it through with my fingers and it's the best it's the best for my hair the one thing i never use in my hair is hairspray because it really damages it and messes it up but if i want my hair to stay in place i use mousse not any type of mousse but this mousse that my mum gets from her wholesalers and you can probably get it as well she gave me this for my travels all taped up because i was ready to leave it is mousse with basically super hold it is the best hold mousse ever if you've got nice ringlets that will hold it in you can easily reactivate it with just putting a bit of water in your hair next thing i can't go without is insect repellent to get rid of those insects you do need the repellent with at least 50 percent deep i'm talking about if you go to a tropical place caribbean bahamas 
Dominican Republic, anywhere like that. If you're just going to Spain or Italy, somewhere like that, don't worry, just get any type of insect repellent, it should work. If you want to go to a trop tropical place, use Jungle Formula number four. I find my favourite is the Roll-On. The Roll-On is the best because you can just rub it in like cream and it actually makes your skin really shiny and look nice. And it doesn't actually smell too bad, although I just want like that. I would also recommend getting a mosquito net as well, just invest in one. So wherever you go, if there's a place to hang it up or just sleep under it, it's really worth it. Obviously, you're always going to get bitten a little bit. And especially if you, you're in a malaria pr prone area, you want to be careful about covering up specific in the evenings. Always check wherever you go for malaria advice as well. I avoid wearing any perfumes or anything because it just attracts the insects. A lot of people still wear perfume on holiday and it's the worst idea ever. I'd rather smell of whatever this insect repellent smells of than get bitten by mosquitoes. Honestly, the itching is so bad. If you do get bitten, I recommend Tiger Balm for your bites. This is white Tiger Balm and it works a treat. It has a really nice cooling effect. If you apply it, you only need a little bit and it also has a dual function if you have a headache or a migraine you can put it on your temples and it has a lovely cooling effect you can get all those cooling sprays and whatever but this tiny little pack of tiger balm will last you months if your bites are already bad i always recommend packing antihistamines as well just to take the inflammation down especially if you get a lot of them a lot of my friends itch their bites i had eczema as a kid i kind of got used to feeling itchy all the time so now i don't really itch my bites but the key thing i used to always do as a kid and even now when i have bites is when i go to sleep hands together like this outside the covers you just have to kind of make that a muscle memory and sleep with your hands grasped like this and avoid the itching next well i told you this video is mainly for girls and that's because i'm going to talk about going on the pill this is not for the main reason many people go on the pill but when you're traveling guys it is just so much easier if you don't have to deal with that time of the month if you are serious about traveling like for a long period of time it's just so much easier not have to worry about bringing the necessary products with you when i can't afford the products especially abroad they're so much more pricey and obviously there's another advantage to being on the pill as well if you have any questions about that just comment out dm me i'm happy to answer questions don't forget guys on my website i have provided a link as well in the description to my checklist for everything you need when you go traveling it boils down to just the simple things like baby wipes baby wipes have so many uses when you're traveling so many or hand sanitizer which has become quite pricey these days but still you can check out that list in the description below i've also included all the products that i mentioned i'm not an ambassador for any of these companies but maybe they will thank me for advertising them all the products that i've mentioned you can find in your local supermarket they're not nothing special and for me it's not about these special products i'm a scientist i know sun cream it's sun cream guys it doesn't matter if it's got this amazing gold wrapper around it or anything it's sun cream anyway guys i hope you found this video useful i might do another similar one about general tips i found on traveling if you have any questions just comment below don't forget to subscribe and like thank you guys bye